It's summer, and Valerie's working hard to make money so that she can attend ping pong college in the fall. She has two jobs. She works at a corner coffee shop as a cashier, making $8 an hour, and she babysits her nephew for $5 an hour, trying to turn him into the next ping pong ma. Last week, she worked 26 hours total, and she made the same amount of money working as a cashier as she did as working as a babysitter. The question is, how many hours did she work as a cashier? So how are we gonna solve this problem? Have, have you ever been asked a question where you don't even know where to start? For example, how many candies are in a jar? All you can do is just take a guess, like 50, but then you're told, no, that is incorrect, your guess is too low. So you just guess again, 100? No, that is incorrect. Your guess is too high. So you slowly just keep narrowing the margin and getting feedback on your answer until you finally get the right answer. In math, sometimes we have to use this strategy to, uh, to help solve our problems. It's simply called guess and check. That's probably what we're going to have to use for this question. So what should be our first guess? Let's try just splitting the number of hours between how many she worked as a cashier and how many she worked as a babysitter. So that means 13 hours as a cashier and 13 hours as a babysitter. So that'll be guess number one for us. Thirteen hours as a cashier and thirteen hours as a babysitter. So we need to check to see if she made the same amount of money being a cashier as she did babysitting, so we need to check that. Since she worked 13 hours as a cashier and she makes $8 an hour as a cashier, that means this week she makes $104. Since she works 13 hours as a babysitter and makes $5 an hour as a babysitter, that means she makes $65 this week. But the thing is, she made the same amount of money for being a cashier as she did for babysitting. So this is incorrect. But what can we learn from our mistake? 104 is greater than 65, which means 13 hours is too high. Which means for our next guess, we need to have a guess with, a cash, with her working as a cashier for less than 13 hours. So guess number two. She needs to work less than 13 hours as a cashier, so let's just say eight. Eight hours as a cashier. She works 26 hours in total, so 26 minus eight. 18 hours as a babysitter. So we need to check, we need to see how much they make from these hours. So check. Eight hours as a cashier. Eight hours, making eight dollars an hour. That means she makes sixty-four dollars this week as a cashier. As a babysitter, she works eighteen hours with five dollars an hour, which means she makes ninety dollars this week. Once again, this is not the right answer since sixty-four dollars is not equivalent to ninety dollars. But what, what can we learn from this mistake? We learned that. Since 64 is less than 90, the amount of hours she works as a cashier is too low. So since it's too low, it needs to be higher than 8 hours. And if we look back at our first guess, when it was too high, it was when it was 13 hours. Which means, for our next guess, we should try to guess somewhere in between 13 and 8. So let's guess 10 hours. So guess number three, 10 hours. And as a babysitter, since 26 minus 10, she works 16 hours as a babysitter. So we need to check dollar amounts now. So check. So for 10 hours, working $8 an hour, she makes $80 as a cashier. And working 16 hours as a babysitter for $5 an hour, 
she works 80 she makes 80 dollars so these are equal this is what and it says here last week she made the same amount of money for being a cashier as she did babysitting which means so this is the situation this is what happened last week so let's look at the, the question the question is how many hours did she work as a cashier cashier guess number three 10 hours and that's your answer let's recap first take a guess at the answer next check if the answer is correct if the answer is wrong learn from the mistake, revise the mistake, take another guess, and keep doing this process until you find the answer.